Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your you versus them love reading between you and your person. I'm going to place you on the left. I'm going to place your person on the right. Even if I think that you're on the right-hand side, I'm still going to refer to you as if you're on the left. This helps alleviate confusion between me and you guys, the viewers, so try not to take it personally. Just take the side that resonates. If this does resonate with you and you want a more personalized reading, you can visit www.braddystarot.com for further information. Okay? Show me Cancer. Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles in Reverse. I don't know why I'm holding the cards like a baby. Okay. Show me the person cancer is dealing with. Knight of Wands in Reverse. Three swords in reverse. Nine of ones in reverse. Six of ones in reverse. Wow, lots of reversals. I'm not going to lie. Jeez, all reversals on this person's side. Okay, Cancer, you have the six of swords for the energy that you're currently projecting towards this person. Show me this. Show me the six of swords. There's something unavoidable here, a cancer. There's something unavoidable. You may have waited for a while to see something happen. You've been waiting on something to happen. And now you're realizing that nothing is happening, whatever that means for you. There's a sense of you trying to resolve a specific situation. And I feel like it's a resolution. I don't think that it's a moving on with that six of swords. And the reason why... I feel that way is because you have the six of swords and the justice here. And right in between that is the wheel of fortune. So this to me is about you trying to make something right. You may have been waiting on this person to make something right. You may have been waiting on this individual to come to you and make something right. But you may feel as though this is somebody that's a little in their ego, somebody who is stuck in life because of their ego, somebody who allows their ego to get the best of them at times. And even though you feel like they love you somewhere deep down inside, you think that this ego has the ability to kind of be front and center in this person's life or how they with how they interact with you. But you're trying to resolve something here. Definitely trying to move forward. Even It could even be you that's apologizing. Like I said, reverse it if you need to. You have the Knight of Cups in your feelings for this person, Cancer. The Five of Pentacles. The Six of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse. You feel like after a long time of keeping your emotions under wraps, maybe being even a little holding back your emotions begrudgingly for some of you. For some of you, this person had gotten to a point of such bad ego or uh, a strong sense of discontentment between the two of you that you got to this point where you didn't even feel comfortable in expressing your emotions anymore. And then in turn, that caused you to hold a grudge towards this individual. It caused you to feel like you had to abandon your own emotions. It caused you to feel abandoned by this person and in regards to your own emotions. But now you're getting to this point where you're just like, you know what? I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of waiting on this person to do something. I'm sick of not doing anything. And with that Knight of Cups, this is you willingly ready to express either an apology or just trying to come to some type of resolution between this person because you feel like this person is your everything at the end of the day with the magician and the nine of cups this is somebody that checks off all the boxes for you it's like against all odds at the end of the day you are the person for me you are the one that i want to be with you're like yeah i'm good by myself but i'm better with you and i'm getting that that old fabulous and neo song <sighs> we were together and I don't, remember, I don't remember what it is if y'all know what i'm talking about put it in the comments so you have the two of pentacles in reverse for how you view this person the seven of wands the page of swords in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse you feel like this person gets to this point where they 
take on all of this weight of these preconceived notions of these assumptions about you, believing the worst about you, and you feel like it just falls on their shoulders and they break. You feel like this person gets incredibly defensive, somebody who takes action, somebody who gets to the point of being confused and drops you and maybe even impulsively drops you in some cases. And you feel like this person likes to conjure up things in their mind and then fight with a wooden sword, basically. Six of Pentacles, the sun in reverse. You come humbly is what it feels like because the six of pentacles is like, you know, kind of like a charitable type of offering. Okay. But this is a love reading. So it's still like a chair, like here, like, I want to give you this, the sun in reverse is like, you're not coming with your ego or you're trying not to the seven of swords in reverse for your future actions towards this person. The five of cups in reverse, the hermit in reverse, the 10 of swords. What's that 10 of swords? The lovers in reverse. you are coming to show up honestly about something that happened in the past. Like I said, reverse it if you need to cancer, but you're coming to, to be honest. I want to say finally about something you have taken some time out to maybe reflect when it comes to this individual. And it seems like you have isolated yourself at some points, especially if there was an ending between the two of you. There could have been an unrequited love situation, okay? There could have been a cheating situation. There could have been a choosing of, of people. Maybe you chose someone else. Maybe you cheated. Maybe you talked to somebody else you weren't supposed to. There's something happening here where you're finally being honest but you're seeing this person, this is how they're reacting to you with the tower and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this person is kind of having a, a crash reaction, a complete crash reaction and uh, is digging their heels into the ground, like immovable, like becoming an immovable force or trying, trying to. Just give me one more for that. Something that you lied about in the past. You, yep, the King of Swords in reverse, Ace of Swords. It's something that you lied about in the past, Cancer. And now you're being honest. Let's take a look at your person. Knight of Wands in reverse for your person's overall energy that they're projecting towards you. They know. This person already knows. This is somebody that already knows what's been going on or what has gone on. Let me turn off this portable heater. This is somebody that is already well aware of what's going on. They don't know what to do. They are trying to overcompensate in some way, or they feel like they need to show up in a certain way in order for you to get to notice them. This is somebody that may have felt like you involved yourself with somebody else for selfish reasons, like you've indulged in somebody else for selfish reasons. What's that tower? They're coming to a conclusion. It's like, this is somebody that feels the wheels breaking off of the wagon. And they're like, yep, I got to jump out, out, of, out of here because I don't know what else to do. I'm chasing my tail. Now I just heard the scientist by Cold Coldplay running in circles, chasing tails, I think is, is what he says. 
And now there's this information, this download that's coming towards this person that they, they're just having this big epiphany, this big realization. It's, I feel like they're letting you go. They're releasing this, the three of swords in reverse for their feelings. Strength in reverse, ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. I mean, three of swords in reverse, ten of swords in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse, dude. This person just feels like there was a third party or the two of you just simply cannot get on the same page and they feel drained. They feel completely drained. Like this is somebody that, you know, is essentially trying to get over whatever this is. This is someone that's having a hard time letting go of the pain, but they are attempting to get over it. This is somebody that feels like you have the ego, like you're stubborn, like you're stuck in your ways, you know? And they feel like the truth of it is, is that you'll never back down. Or the truth of it is, is that you'll never eradicate your own ego or you'll never swallow your pride. Because to them, how they see it when it comes to you Swallowing your pride is like swallowing a sword that's on fire to them, to you. That's what they feel. The nine of wands in reverse for how they perceive you. I just heard um, When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish. And how can I say that I like it like that? I like it like that. I like it like that. Let me let you go. Let me let you go. I would go listen to that song by When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish. This is somebody, Nine of Wands in Reverse, Page of Cups, Two of Wands, The Lovers. They're looking at you like this is a connection they've never had with somebody. And they feel like it's bigger than your acting. They feel like you love them. They feel like the two of you are just connected, like energetically connected. But this is somebody who feels like they need to prove to you, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords, that they're fine on their own. You know, they're looking at you like they're better off without you. And I just keep hearing, how can I say I like it like that, like it like that from Billie Eilish. And I just feel like you're not trying, you're just giving up. Because they feel like you have a decision to make between two people or that it, like whether whether like I don't know like I don't know if they like actually know that there's another person there or there has been or there is even if you're not like strictly with somebody like with somebody else besides this person or whatever it may be they may still even feel like you're attached to somebody and like you have to make a decision give me one more for that nine of wands giving up on what giving up on what giving up on what the three of cups in reverse, I told you. Like, you have to let go of something. Like, even if it's not a person, although I feel like it probably is, but there's, like, something that you need to give up on that you know that you need to give up on. They may even feel like you're giving up on them. The six of wands in reverse for their future actions. The page of pentacles. The six of swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in Reverse. You both have that. What's the Seven of Swords in Reverse? This is what they wanted. They wanted to hear this truth from you. They've been manifesting this truth from you. But they're feeling entitled. Like they're feeling like, no, I shouldn't have to move. I shouldn't have to be the one that comes to cancer. I shouldn't have to be the one that initiates contact or I shouldn't have to be the one to bring this up. Like they know that you're going to bring it up. 
but they feel like even though you're bringing it up or even though you're confessing something, they feel like you're the one that's being stubborn. I heard like, oh, cancer just can't help themselves. And this is somebody that's like still willing to like plant these seeds or like learn or like listen, like genuinely listen and learn like why you did what it is that you did. So cancer, your motivation around this whole thing, just like they view you, nine of wands in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, temperance in reverse. Like, are you really willing to put in the work though? Like you're, you're losing your patience in the situation, like altogether. I feel like you want to have patience. You want to be able to like see this through in some way, but you're very tired. You're like fighting on your last leg. And now what? This person, King of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that is continuously suffering in silence. Um, they're not happy, you know? This is somebody who feels like you've wasted their time. You could have children with this person or you could have a family with them. This is somebody that's not willing to talk to you about emotional matters or money matters or just whatever happened between you and them. They feel like they don't know the truth. What's going to happen between these two combined? Show me this person. What about this person? So you're going to Ace of Swords it and Seven of Cups it, which tells me that you are speaking, but you're speaking in tongues. You're speaking, but you're not telling the full truth. You're telling your side, but you're not telling the full truth. And this person... Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse. They're digging their heels in the sand as far as it can go, and they are holding a grudge towards you. Sorry about that. Hey, Siri, put phone on Do Not Disturb. Okay, I turned Do Not Disturb off. Thank you. Reconciliation, trying to make something right, but there's like that, that, I don't know, man. What does cancer need to hear right now? Oh. All right, I'll take them. What about cancer's person? Conclusions are within reach and don't let pride get in the way. Okay. So cancer, you got what do you need to release a time to give rather than take balance, spirituality and practicality. So definitely needing to bring this tone of please forgive me, Ness. Uh, please understand. I would release your pride. I would release your ego. I would find a way to be logical, but also bringing love into the situation at the same time. This is a very delicate situation to me, Cancer, and I feel like that's how should it, it should be handled. Uh, person on the right, you got it's time to take action. A new start is coming and bring love into the situation. You got all new moons here. These are all new moon cards. Person on the right. Um, what's this action card? The Queen of Swords in reverse. So it's time to express yourself. Just be careful how you're expressing yourself because, because it could end up being a complete show. Um, With a new start is coming. What's this? Ace of Swords. Yeah. I feel like you'll definitely have the opportunity to hear the truth and to be able to tell your truth. This is all saying bring love into the situation. This is asking you to practice empathy. I hate to say it. But this is about practicing empathy, even if somebody is in the wrong. It does not mean that you have to 
include cancer back into your life or keep this person in your life or whatever the case is, but still having empathy while implementing healthy boundaries is very important. Okay. So Cancer and Crosswatcher, it was an absolute pleasure to read your cards. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit www.bradystarot.com. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to donate to the channel or if you would like to view any other information about me, just look in the bio below. Okay. Thanks a lot, Cancer and friends, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.